Hi everybody, this is Joanna. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we are going to do um, a sacred sound um, activation and um, song um, ascension offering. We're gonna continue our exploration on divine relationship. Let's see if that comes in better. Um, on divine relationship and how important it is for um, our exploration and the joy of who we are in all that is because every experience that we have is a relationship with source. Um, how we are healing it is through the definitions, the patterns, and the experiences through the wounds and the psyche and the ego that we're all here to transcend. And we're um, working on our new webpage right now. And this new webpage will offer um, three or four um, variations on intuitive healing. Um, they will include um, tarot and oracle, of course, because they're so fun. Um, and it will also include um, light language and vibrational activations and healings. And in all of our um, offerings, we always call in the highest heavenly councils and the light councils, um, obviously. Um, um, we always prepare the space beforehand. And so they're always offering forward the highest information and wisdom that you need on where you're at within your, your cycle um, based on um, your birth and based on where you're at in your ascending and um, um, your ascending frequencies of your birth chart. And so we're going to be moving into the Akashic frequencies of any blocks and hurdles and how to transcend them. Usually I'm shown within the field or the bodies where those blocks are and codes and sounds are sent to assist you in removing those blocks and transcending them. And then we work on um, tips and hints to also create within your self-care um, energies and potentiations for you to continue that, um, that um, expansive process of that relationship. Um, ascension and where we're moving into this new new frequency of template requires that we behave and we live and we operate in, in new ways because we're operating as a higher vibrational being so that means that we'll be required to play we'll be able to allow ourselves to insert greater play and greater fun and greater activity that are new in ways that are outside of those um, routines that we've always done um, and that's how we allow ourselves, the whole multidimensional bodies, physical, mentally, emotionally, etheric, to um, assist in refining its light frequency so that it can join and harmonize with the higher light body. And I've actually felt those sacred geometries come into place, and it's, it's such an incredible experience. Um, and those occur after so many clearings that are done, and you're calling in those soul fragments to complete that sacred geometry. Um, you as another aspect of your soul just as if we are calling in our soul fragments from 3 to 5d so are our higher selves calling us in to merge as the soul fragments that we are for them and so it's a continual um, you know um, threaded pearls that they've shown me that are continually um, pulling one another up the multiverse omnipresent vibrational universal experience so it's really exciting and so today our offering wanted to be um, uh, on the I am presence and that's the, the beautiful um, third chakra, the I am presence, um, <clears throat> solar plexus. And you can visualize, um, you know, through your daily self-care and any work that you're doing with your solar plexus. I find that um, in, through the healings, what is required um, is that as you're clearing the root chakra, as you're clearing the sacral, to then go back and do a reaffirmation and um, calling in those higher vibrations to call in that new now I am presence. So that I am presence is reactivated every time a chakra is cleared or every time you have a huge profound soul release. Because those new higher energies of who you are now um, are under your command and are under your leadership and under your soul's management to kind of say, okay, this is where I want to go vibrationally now. So you're reprogramming it to that higher vibration of who your I am presence is now. And so the I am presence it has, for me, what I've felt into vibrationally is um, really important if we've gone through, um, you know, various periods of deep um, trauma release, physical body, deep cellular tissue release, um, um, various um, emotional and mental imbalances and abuses and any of those energies that are moving through your daily self-care and your releases, usually at cycles of full moons and new moons, um, but also keep track of your own schedule so that you can allow yourself that time to just really self-soothe in those times of big release, you know, at full moons. You know, usually so many people find the full moon cycles require us to really just pull back from everything and just spend a couple of days in self-care and you know, having salt baths and really focusing on self-care. Um, 
not expending too much out there because it's all about recalling in those energies and, and self-love because there's been so much density that's been poured out. And so it's always this process of this infinity loop that we've talked about and we've offered since day one, you know, because it allows us to understand that it's a constant maneuvering through creation of the sacred geometry of all that we are, micro macro, we're constantly harmonizing with greater micro macro experiences of who we are as we're pulling up those fragments of who we are. Standing in our pillar of light assists us with the light that's sent from the heavens to us through our, our crown chakras, our pineal, the crown chakra that gets activated. I've been having lots of work being done on my, <laughs> my crown chakra and my brain right now to assist me in preparation for my next new cycle. Um, <clears throat> understanding codes and singing codes and, and offering the codes in my work that I do. And so I'm really excited and happy about that to be playing and offering them. Um, and also to know that in these activations that you have your teams and your guides. So if you see um, any one of our videos that say activation, just know that there is a light language and sound involved so that you're preparing your bodies when you sit down for the sacred work to call in your sacred teams to assist in the movement of the energy so that they're working with you as these codes are offered so that you have the most beneficial and the highest potentiation of the codes in the light language. Um, because it just allows that extra help that you need and require the Galactic Federation, the Councils of Light, the Celestial Light Beings, your Archangels and the Angels of the Heavens, anybody that you can call upon of the highest light programs assisting you in pulling out those densities and removing the densities in the blocks that are in your fields and your cells and your organs and so on and so forth. And you can tell where they are when you sit vibration and just tune in, you know, why am I feeling this in my, in my sacral or in my, my solar plexus? So what they've been showing me lately is that as the traumas are released from, say, the root chakra, the safety issue, which is what many have been feeling on this earth, <clears throat> because it's directly related to this now moment on Orion Wars and other wars that we have in other, um, other planets, and why we have these deep trauma releases, if you will, or we feel as if we've, we've experienced something deep and traumatic, because we're experiencing those releases and those clearings and the cleansings at a multidimensional level of who we are within the all and it filters down and it filters out as we do. Um, and so, because remember it's an infinity going up and down. So as we're calling in those soul fragments with us, it's being threaded up and they're calling us up as we call ourselves up and it's so on. Um, and so what it's felt like for me is in the deep trauma releases, um, when you've given yourself those times to, you know, say, you know, tune in with what's being released from your root chakra. I am safe and I am profound and I'm grounded and I'm honored and I can be abundant in all things. You know, the root chakra energies to reaffirm what's going on there as you're opening and clearing and cleansing through affirmations. I release what's moving um, and, and being blocked within my root chakra and I ask my teams and my angels to assist in pulling down that Christ of consciousness energies up and around. So you're being bathed in the Holy Christ energies and codes to pull out those densities. And after that, call in those new higher vibrations. My root chakra is now bathed in the crystalline light and I am safe and I am abundant and I am well and I am anchored and I am strong. And then anchor that pillar of light down into Gaia. And those codes come up from the heavens and then down. And then you work with your sacral doing the same thing, releasing what no longer serves, feeling those energies being pulled up and being released and sent out calling down the grounding and anchoring with those new higher vibration energies of being absolutely um, cleared of any um, sexual traumas in the sexual organs um, uh, and heightening those creativities that are part of that, that second chakra. You know, for any of those earlier childhood traumas of um, your gifts and your energies and your way of expressing yourself not being valid or being, um, you know, displaced in any way, whether it's bullying or abuse or whatever, it doesn't matter what package it comes within. Anything that was um, a hindrance on that creative expression of who we are will, will sit within the first and second chakras, which then relate to the third chakra. So as you're pulling in those higher vibrational affirmations and reaffirming who you are with those chakras as they're being cleared daily, then that third chakra is your I am presence. Your I am presence is related to all your chakras because it allows who you are as that soul experience, that, that sacred geometry to walk forward in life with that clear anchoring with source creator. And that is probably the biggest key to ensuring that your light shield is up, if you will, and not attracting vibrational energies and experiences that don't serve you. <clears throat> Because remember, if we, have those, um, if we have those blockages, 
in the chakras, then those are energies that are at a small and subtle energy frequency calling in those energies to play with until that is healed. And so why again, self-care is so important. <laughs> you know, take time daily to clear out your chakras. Take time daily to sit in quiet reflection of what's moving through you and, and what is standing out to you. You don't have to take everything on, but take two or three chakras, you know, two or three days in a row and just clear and, and give love compassion and soothing to those chakras and visualize the dark rich colors that are crystalline and pure and transparent they're very rich transparent colors and they can be seen through that's the color of this the solar plexus um, they're very crystalline and they can be seen through that's the transparency of the crystal um, vibration and we, we want all of our chakras to be as pristine and clear as as possible and do us doing a t 10 to 20 minute clearing makes a huge difference Connecting with your teams and the, the um, soul and your higher self, your highest guidance to collect and gather at your sacred space, your divine sacred heart, which is the high heart sitting right in the very middle of your chest, the high heart connected with the throat chakra, which is your vortice of wisdom. <clears throat> I'm just clearing as I do talk, even if I talk about it and call my attention to it physically, cellularly, multidimensionally, it starts clearing. <clears throat> Calling that connection from your heart to your throat allows those clearings to come and take place. And you can see because every time we come on to talk about chakra and energy work, I clear. You know, it's that, it's that divine orchestration that the heavens are showing us. This is a very important, um, you know, participation and engagement of that divine relationship. Your relationship with all your chakras, your relationship with your I am presence is so profound. That is what usually starts our, um, our awakening process, that I am seeking, well, who really am I? What exists within me? What do I exist within? And who am I? And how much have I believed to be true that's really not true at all? I'm far vast and grand, and I'm magnificent, and I'm one with the heavens. So how can I start exploring that, expressing it, and being it as the experience of source? That I am presence allows that pillar of light to remain solid, to remain anchored, to remain straight. This I am that I am as source is, my name is, I am that I am. And this I am presence feeds everything in your pillar of light. Clearing and cleansing anything that comes into your awareness, a thought form that's projected from someone else, um, a thought form that's projected in the collective that you're hearing, any energies that your kids and your families are carrying home from others, because they might be carrying a lack of self and they're carrying all those thought forms with them and you're being bombarded with them because you're an empath or, you know, an intuitive. Um, and that's okay, but you don't have to. You can put up, you can allow your light shield, all that you are, to call up. And as you're clearing, calling in your light shield, calling up all that you are as light, those shields will not, will not participate with those energies. When your shields are down and you're not aware, you can entangle, especially if it's a close-knit family, you're entangling with energies that aren't even yours. You know, and that's, um, it, it can affect um, you know, it can affect the uh, multidimensional bodies um, mentally, physically, emotionally, and theoretically that, that will be cleared at some point, you know. Um, and so that pillar of light, this pillar of light is what anchors you and allows all of your teams and all of your celestial teams to pull in um, the information and the codes through your beautiful crown chakra and all of the beautiful, you know, the energies and the works that are being done there with your pineal and, and so that you're your upgraded brain and all of the energies that are going on within your brain can activate and pull those codes in. Um, there are codes, um, light codes that, you know, look an infinite number of ways because there's so many different planets and beings and energies within the DNA that are needing new upgraded light codes. And they don't look like anything that we can explain. They're held within the sound vibration and the sacred song that is source. So your I am presence allows you to open up to this divine presence. If you're holding your I am presence as this relationship with source, you're allowing, as I've shown here, the divine flow of source to live through you through the door of God. The door of God is in the very center of the back, and it goes out to creation through your, your moving and your negotiating with it. And the mouth of God is up here at the back. Um, and you can feel these activations when you're moving through ascension symptoms. Because all of these chakra systems, your multidimensional sacred geometry of all that you are in all of your chakras these vortices are all being activated and upgraded you as a field of light are being upgraded you as a field of magnetic systems are being upgraded
It's so magnificent. And your I am presence allows you to stand within your power, stand within the power of light that you are to continue that highest vibration of this is my I am presence and what I'm going to entangle with. Remember, you're always recentering. This is who I am now. I choose to, the all is, the all is source. The all is source. That's when you're letting go of frequencies or you can sense and feel frequencies that might not feel comfortable or might not feel, that's your intuitive body alerting you. Do you want to entangle with this energy or not? Your bodies are sensing it, your fields are sensing it, but you can choose to entangle with it and not engage with it. So that's when all of you as a multidimensional being can say, I'm returning to my center, it's all source, you're a part of source, there's no resistance or denying or pushing it away, it's just saying you're a part of source, but I choose to move in this way now. That way you're not depressing or suppressing it or resisting it or fighting it, because if you do so, then that's just gonna call it to you as that magnetic repelling and um, attracting experience. And those are done at the very subtle level and why we co-create at these very subtle levels with those that we live with. Those that are awakened to energy will find these subtle experiences more and more and more and more often. And that's why you end up refining exactly everything that you're moving within and without. You know, you're refining what you listen to. You're refining those that you want to hang out with and those that want to be with you and empower you and inspire you because you're understanding that those quantum entanglements are very real. And if it's not feeling comfortable, then it's up to those in that circle to bring them forward and clear them as a collective or that person that's awakened ends up doing a lot of work and it will affect and pull them back in their light um, and that's how it's felt and that's why my teams have told me compromising your light and compromising your soul's experience doesn't serve anyone because one person can only do so much of the light work for everybody and if there's so much clearing and healing that you're doing it's a lot of work for you to do your healing plus clear and cleanse everything else that everyone else is bringing in. So what they've told me is just be okay with where you're at. Don't feel the stress and the pains of having to clear everything, but get into a self-care practice so that your body of light, your multidimensional systems in every way will allow yourself to stand tall and walk tall in who you are so that those energies won't connect and entangle with your field because you understand that your light is so high, it won't be a vibrational match. And then you can get used to saying your affirmations throughout the day. You know, if you're out getting groceries and if you're out of, around people that you're, not, um, that you're not familiar with and you're sensing energies because you can sense them and feel them and you're cognizantly aware of them and your teams are tuning in and your, your spirit guides and so on, then you can just, you know, say your affirmations throughout the day as you're clearing and cleansing your field. Any energies and any consciousness that are connected with my fields in any way, please be released now that are not my highest and my best. I'm calling in my guides to clear my fields and my bodies now, please. Release any cords and attachments that are not serving my highest and my best now, please. I am in loving commandment of my fields and I choose the highest frequencies of the Holy Christ. I choose the highest light templates and my fields and my bodies and my teams and my spirit guides are all working with me in this divine relationship so that all that I am is connecting with the energies that make me feel good. Any energies in my consciousness fields and bodies and experience and chakras, please be released now if not of my highest and my best. I'm in charge of my consciousness. I'm in charge of my body and I walk and I'm fully aligned with my pillar of light. I am aligned with source creator. And saying those affirmations and literally seeing yourself aligned with this pillar of light that runs along your spine will allow you that sense of clarity in the I am presence. I am that I am as I am. My name is an anchor to Gaia. Doing this throughout your day will allow you that very powerful sense of self, that sense of clarity, that sense of oneness of who you are with source. Because your gifts are unique than any other beings. And as everything is cleared out and you're not, you're not continuing to carry everybody else's stuff, you're then allowing yourself to flow more fluidly with all the gifts and all of your experiences and your expressions that source and you have come to contract with and play with and co-create in sacred play. And it's hard to do if there's so much um, density from all of the experiences of trauma and healing and, and dysfunction and imbalances that everybody has been moving through and working with. And again, it's always this constant negotiation of working the energy. So really get, to, really get used to you know, your cycle of clearing and cleansing. Daily self-care is really helpful. Using your affirmations of clearing and cleansing your fields and your bodies throughout the day salt baths at the end of every night and having the children get used to seeing and doing you know the bathing of the Christ light in the shower so they're seeing their densities move away especially when they're around so many people at school and have them um, be aware just to put up those shields with Lord Michael at their age you know um, with all of the restrictions and the heaviness that's going on in their collective 
so that they're walking around in protection and they can come and clear their fields when they get home. If they're getting in the use and the practice of it, then you'll feel that that balance of their emotions and they're coming home not feeling so exhausted and stressed and you know um, you know really feeling those emotional imbalances that then can cause um, greater imbalances. Um, and again, it's really becoming aware and taking ownership of your I am presence. This is who I am. And throughout your day, after your clearing and cleansing, call in those higher codes of any experience, any desire, any sacredness of the bliss that you are as the Holy Christ of that I am presence. I walk in my peace. I walk in my bliss. I will be the example of light. I will express myself fluently and with great pride and joy of who I am as a soul. I am that I am. I am so very sacred. And I'm clearing. <laughs> See those energies and you're telling all your cells, you're telling your field, this is who I am. I am in commandment. I know who I am. I will no longer entangle with energies that do not serve me. I understand energy now. I understand my commandment of it. And you're doing it in a way with great pride and honor and neutrality. It's all source. But you get to walk in that beautiful energy of who you are, saying that all is source, but I get to choose who I am. I get to choose what I entangle with. I get to choose where I go. I get to choose what I co-create. That is your divine sovereignty. That is the divine feminine saying, I stand up in my power. I accept and I honor who I am. And the will of the father and the will of the mother will come and live with me in sanctuary, in balance. I get to choose who I am. I call in the energy, I receive it, divine feminine, and I get to co-create it. I get to feel my expressions of my feelings. I get to allow my intuitive body to guide me and direct me because I'm linked with this divine sacred space of source creator and it's living through me. It's so powerful to allow you to align with the sacred geometry of who you are as that divine I am presence. So powerful. Um, and we all desire to feel confident, to feel clear, to feel knowing of who we are. And it takes our required practice, our loving commandment. Well, how am I feeling today? Well, I'm just going to take a rest and just honor my space and just give my, I'm going to hold space for me today. And I'm just going to call in the energies I need from source and call in the energies I need from Gaia. I really need replenishment and restoration today. So to honor that. I am receiving restoration and replenishment today. I am. My body is allowing. I'm, my cells are calling in greater light. My organs are calling in greater light. I'm calling in the heavens to hug me and all of the teams and the guides that I'm sending sparkling light to them and thank you and gratitude. This is why I move my fingers. Because I'm sending them right back sacred geometry of gratitude and the blessedness of who they are helping me and assisting me and clearing my field at the same time. And I am standing in my power to do so. I have commandmentship over me. I am subservient to no one and no thing. I walk with pride. I am in pride of who I am. And the sun comes through. Thank you, creators. As we're confirming who we are, we all want to walk. And we want to offer this to our children. We walk in our light. We walk in our power. So that you are not feeling victim and we're not feeling you know, frailty to systems and to energies that are still so much up in the air and trying to find their grounding because everything is being cleared and cleansed. Everything is being rewritten with light. All things are coming down. All things are being brought up. All dust that was under the rug is being pushed back out. Everything's got to be sorted. And it's a very tumultuous time. That's why people feel the way they do because there's so much up in the air right now going through that transmutational process and very few are going through to do the I am clearing, to their I am presence. My I am presence is not taking on the energies of anyone. I release these energies now. Thought forms, energies, consciousness, threads and cords be released now. I am in divine orientation of my body. I know who I am. I call in the higher lights from heaven. I call in my specific codes. I call in the sacred geometry. I know who I am. I am that I am. As my name is, I walk with source. I have gifts. Every cell in my body is listening. My voice, this beautiful vorticity of light that is speaking my name and my codes. I am offering my sacred gifts and I am that I am. Light is coming in all directions and I'm working with the Gaia energies. I'm working with nature. I'm working with everything that is in my field of holy light. And I'm calling in the heavens and the angels to work with me and walk with me and bathe with me in the highest frequencies of light and love and dancing and joy because that's my I am presence expressing itself. This is who I am. In expression, in exploration, in experience and adventure. I get to be proud about who I am. That's part of my I am presence. I am this multidimensional, faceted being of light, and I am one with all things. It's my relationship. 
I get to choose that. And nothing will come between it. Nothing will can be in control of it. I am loving commandmentship of all that I am. I am the love of source. I am my pillar of light. I am the beauty of source. I am one with all creation. I am one with the heavens and below. I bring the heavens from above and I anchor it. I anchor it. I anchor it. I anchor it. I am the holy light. And I choose this with great honor that all is valid. All is source. And I have the joy within my heart to drop within and seek that guidance to know that I will be guided. I will be shown. I will be offered. I will have these synchronicities in my sleep and in my meditations. I will be gifted in every way as I live my fullest I am presence. And that's why your children have contracted with you. So that you, in your fullest expression, are offering them the codes and the light and the honor and the, uh, the emulation of your experience that expression so that they can know it is possible. It is possible to heal your body. It is possible to walk in your highest light. It is possible to transmute trauma. It's possible to transmute those energies of dysfunction and abuse. It's possible. It's possible to release density. It's possible to hold yourself high. I hold myself high. I honor myself. I'm going to give myself greater sleep today. I'm just going to take the day off and I'm just going to sleep because I'm worthy. I'm worthy of daily self-care. I'm worthy to hold myself high. My I am presence is shining through all creation to say, you are worthy of this. Since when did you believe you were not worthy? You were born worthy. We're showing you that you are. Your I am presence is your link and your attachment, your connection and your entanglement with source creator. You're threaded with the all. No mistake about that. Father, Father, we are one in the Holy Spirit. We're bringing all that we are as the Christ consciousness through our I am presence. Thank you so much, dear lighted ones, and we anchor this. Mm, pure heart, pure mind, pure body and soul, we are one. We are one with Holy Father, Mother, Creators, the Elohim, all that is in light programs. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are. And there was a beautiful little light being that was showing me um, this earth consciousness. Um, I'm really connected with the fairies and the pixies and the gnomes. And this beautiful earth um, energy, um, really small and just a bundle of light, just as a big, <laughs> big bundle of light, um, like, like a medium sized dog, you know. And just as being of light was just sitting on the grass and it was being very playful with me, showing me that can we allow the playfulness of our I am presence to be a part of every day? You know, that joy factor that is a really high vibrational experience of who we are a source. That joy factor to play, to play with the fairies, to play with the pixies, to play with the elementals, to play with all that a source created, the relationship within all things. That's a part of your I am presence. There's absolutely every reason why you're attracted to what you're attracted to. And you see those flowers and you see those colors and you're, you're intrigued by the sounds of nature. There's no accident at all. It's all that synchronistic relationship of who you are. And there's light energy within it. There's codes and love and benevolence and your story within it. And so be playful, dear lighter ones. Be the joy of who you are. That joyful expression of who you are as source. Your I am presence. I will stand and walk tall today. I will stand in my pillar of light and I will honor it and I will call light in throughout my day. And I will absolutely know that my energies are in full harmonization of who I am as divine male and divine female. I am anchored in harmony and peace. I am the sanctuary of me. 
I am the presence of source and I will walk in this light. It's my birthright. It's my birthright. I get to be joyful in that. That's a blessed gift. So thank you so much, dear Lighter Ones. We hope you've enjoyed this um, activation of light language and sacred sound of the divine sacred relationship, sacred divine relationship of the I am presence. Walk tall, walk boldly, and know that you are the beautiful, beautiful sacred geometry of the beautiful Christine, crystalline um, and pristine um, um, citrine, you know, that really translucent. I mean, transparent um, citrine energy that we find in the citrine crystals. Um, that's that I am presence. And really hold your chakra with joy and with honor. And just hold yourself in love. Soothe yourself in love. And allow yourself to love and soothe yourself. And know that all of these energies are temporary. Showing you where you are now and where you choose to be. Where you are now, where you choose to be. And feel into it with that new I am presence. I am feeling wonderful. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling adored. I'm feeling engaged. I'm entangling with creation. I feel so excited to be this sacred child. I'm co-creating with the heavens. I'm co-creating with the earth. I am sacred. I have so many gifts and I love to share them. I'm feeling excited to be me. My I am presence is alive and well with me. My cells are listening. Even at the sound of my voice, my body starts clearing, my chakras start clearing, and I am harmonized with the highest frequency of who I am. I'm so grateful to be a part of this beautiful sacred journey. The relationship that is source, me with me, source with source, micro macro, as within, so without. Thank you, dear lighted ones. We love you. Bye. I am, I am, I am that I am.